Over the last two months, Yonki Dam has used more water than it has received. Along the banks of the dam is evidence of the impact of this dry spill. Ruben Muru, the power station's manager, says things can only get worse if the rains don't come within three months. There's only two months gone, two and a half months. And if we continue uh, in the trend, we will definitely face problems. The water level has dropped five meters. At present, Yonki's water level is within the safe range. Power generation will continue unhindered for now. This dam is central in power generation for five highlands provinces and Medangan Lay. Now, if this dry spell continues for another six months, it will result in power rationing and significant costs in terms of fuel for PNG power. Fuel cost will be the main, main cost here especially the, for the, the gas turbine, 25 megawatt gas turbine in May. That will be drinking up more fuel than, uh, than we would expect. This facility is in the heart of Yonki's power generation. This building sits on a structure that goes 300 meters underground where large turbines are located. It has the ability to produce 70 megawatts of electricity, but it all depends on the amount of water held at this dam. While the country focuses on the more obvious impacts of the drought, the shutdown of Yonki in the event that the drought continues for another six months will pose significant costs, not just to PNG power, but to the whole of the PNG economy. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Leigh.